Hello everyone, uh, so today we're going to talk about the Prim's algorithm that uh, is used for finding the minimum spanning tree. So given a graph G uh, with a set of vertices and a set of edges, and G is undirected and weighted, and also we have uh, a matrix that shows the weight of uh, like the, or the distance between any node to any other, uh, all other nodes. Okay, so we are going to find uh, the minimum spanning tree. The Prim's algorithm is uh, a greedy approach, okay? So it means that at every step of the algorithm, it tries to find the edge that has the minimum cost, okay? And we're gonna learn uh, and we're gonna see that how this algorithm works, okay? But before that, there are something that uh, we need to have for the Prim's algorithm, okay? Like the T, the T is a set of edges, okay? So at first it's empty because it's gonna create, it's gonna at end, gonna be filled uh, the trees uh, like the minimum spanning tree so this tree uh, this T gonna be the minimum spanning tree at first equal to empty set then we have R that is the randomly selected node or vertex in the set of vertices that we have so no matter uh, what node you start first okay finally we're gonna probably have the same uh, answer if there's only one uh, like the minimum uh, spanning tree okay then uh, we have a cost array, okay, for every vertices, we are setting the uh, cost equal to infinity. And also the adjacent node of any node, we are equal to none. It means that we haven't selected any edge so far. Then after this, uh, we are setting the cost of the R equal to zero, uh, okay, because that's gonna be the node that we are gonna start with. So at every step, we are gonna choose the node has, that has the minimum cost. And at first, the R, uh, that we are randomly selected from this instead of we is going to be the node that is going to be selected and on the next page okay we'll have the prims algorithm itself that we are starting also with the set s and s is the all vertices at first so while the s is not empty because we are going to like to go one by one to all vertices then we are finding the vertices uh, in s that has the minimum cost and as you see at first, uh, this is gonna be the uh, the U that we are selecting here. U is gonna be uh, R because R, we set the cost of R equal to zero. Then we are removing uh, U from this uh, set S, okay? And then we are checking that if the uh, node that we are removed from S is not equal to R, then we're adding the this edge of U that are selected with the agents of the U, okay? But so far, uh, like at first, agents of U uh, for all of the nodes are none, okay? So that's why we have this check here, okay? And then for all edges uh, of the, uh, that is connected to node U, okay? For all edges that are connected to U, we are checking the weight. If the weight uh, of the, that edge is less than the, the cost of that vertice uh, of that neighbor, okay? Then we are updating the cost to the way that exists, okay? And I'm gonna explain it uh, in the example so you can see that what uh, exactly you're talking about. And later, uh, when we found when we found a minimum, uh, like a less cost uh, for a ver uh, for the vertex, okay, then we are also updating the adjacent of, of that vertex. Okay, uh, so I will, as I said, I will explain uh, this in more uh, like with, uh, with the example in more detail so you can understand that what exactly the Prim's algorithm do okay so let's now go and do some example together okay here's an example we are gonna do together so there is a graph g with uh six nodes okay a to f okay a b c d and f and i initialize all the values that we have so at first the our spanning tree contains no edge okay so here we have this uh, t equal to an empty set then we have R and let's say that we are also randomly choosing D okay it's at, uh, finally it doesn't uh, gonna uh, doesn't do any, any uh, matter that which node you choose but let's say that we uh, have uh, chosen uh, node D as a random uh, val uh, node okay then we are putting a uh, cost uh, of all vertices to equal to infinity for every node that we have in the uh, vertices even uh, the cost for D then also we are adding uh, setting all adjacents of every vertex uh, vertex that we have in our graph g equal to none 
Then uh, after doing this, we are going and update the cost of the node D equal to zero, okay? Because as we said, we're gonna choose the node that has the minimum cost. And we are putting S equal to V. That means that uh, so far all the nodes are uh, available to choose from, okay? All the vertices are available to choose from. So having the uh, node uh, D as uh, like the minimum, uh, as the node that has the minimum cost, okay, we are going to start and uh, like see that which are uh, like we're going to like do the prints algorithm on that. So the D has uh, three uh, edges connected to it. Uh, there is one edge that goes from uh, D to B, this costs five, and there's also uh, an edge uh, from D to C that has cost one. The other one is also from D to F that also has the cost one. Okay, so here. As part of the Perms algorithm, if you remember, we said that we are updating uh, the cost of all vertices that are connected to D. Okay, so we are going to update the cost of B, C, and F because our, those are all the nodes that are connected to D. So the cost of the cost of node B, okay, is going to be the minimum. Uh, uh, it's mini uh, like the value it has, the minimum between the current cost that it has that is infinity okay because we said that we put all the costs equal to infinity at first then uh, between also the cost that is from going from D to B that is equal to 5 so we are updating the cost of D and we are putting it equal to 5 so now we have this cost equal to 5 now for cost of C, we are also doing the same thing, okay, uh, do not, uh, this C is stands for cost and this C is also uh, just the node, okay, so do not uh, take this as a, like the, although the names are similar, but they are not the same, okay, so C, cost of uh, node C will be the minimum cost of its current cost that is infinity okay. and the distance from B to C that is equal to 1, so we will have 1. And also we are gonna have update the cost for node F. Okay, so for F, that we're gonna be the minimum of infinity and distance from D to F that is also one. So so far we have updated the cost for B, C, and F. And we cannot add uh, any edge uh, to T so far because U. Uh, let's also write here. So U is equal to R. So that is equal also to D so we are not adding any edge okay because we are not adding the uh, any edge from D to itself okay and also there you know, there, uh, there is no edge from D to itself so we are not adding any edge so far to uh, tree that we have now uh, uh, but later uh, you will not be R anymore so we can uh, like to add that edge uh, uh, to the tree so now having the uh, having these things information also let's update the uh, like adjacent node of the V so what I'm gonna do is here so also I'm gonna update the adjacent for B it's gonna be D okay so it means that for now so far the ed, the node that is uh, like has the minimum cost okay to B is D okay so that's why I'm call, uh, updating the adjacent of B to D before it was equal to a none okay it was a nothing there was no adjacent to uh, B now also for C it becomes D and definitely for F also it's gonna be B okay so I'm updating all the adjacents uh, for these three neighbors of D now uh, the next step, uh, uh, we are still in the while loop, okay, and we are removing uh, also uh, like the uh, the u from s. So now the new s, okay, will be uh, the v or the current sets minus the node d, okay. So that's also we are updating s. Okay? So s becomes v minus d, and we are updating the adjacents. Uh, here and also we updated cost here so that's gonna be the first loop of the while in the prims algorithm that we did okay so now uh, like next we're gonna like to continue on this one and finishing uh, this exam 
Next, uh, we're going to choose between uh, now nodes that has the minimum cost. So we are not considering D anymore because D is not in uh, S anymore. So between C and F that both has uh, cost one, we are choosing one. You can choose either one, but let's uh, choose C based, let's, let's say we are sorting them based on their name. So we're gonna choose C. You will be C and uh, we are now, because U now is not equal to R, we are gonna add this uh, edge uh, between uh, uh, between C and D, and because if you look at the uh, look at here, we said that agents adjacent adjacent uh, neighbor of C is equal to D, so we're going to add this edge to T. So T will be now containing node C, uh, the edge between C and D. Okay, so that's going to be our uh, minimum spanning tree so far. So we have this uh, edge C and D included in our spanning tree. The next uh, gonna be updating all the uh, all the edges that we have. Okay, all the uh, edges that we have for C. So uh, uh, node A, uh, node D, and node E are connected to node C. So uh, the next is gonna be uh, updating all the costs for these things. So the cost, I'm going to write above here. Uh, so the cost of A, okay, is going to be its minimum, uh, this previous cost that is infinity. And the new cost of, uh, like the cost between C and A that is equal to 2. So we're updating the cost of A and it's going to become 2. So also we're updating the adjacent node of a so the node of A becomes C. Okay, and the next thing is gonna be uh, uh, is gonna be D. Okay, so we're also updating the adjacent node of D. That's gonna be C, and also you're gonna update the adjacent node of E that's gonna be also C and let's also here uh, update the cost for E okay for E that's gonna be the minimum between infinity and 4 that is the cost of uh, HCE that is gonna be 4 so these are the values updated for this one so uh, we are also removing uh, C from our consideration for the next uh, iteration, okay, because we already uh, checked D and C. So here, when I have this S, also I'm gonna add uh, D to this one. So let's me update this one, and I'm gonna do C and D, okay. Now between uh, the rest of the nodes except C and D, I'm going to choose the node that has the minimum cost. And here, F is going to be the node that has the minimum cost. So the next step is uh, choosing F and probably adding an edge uh, that is connected to F. As we said, the next node is going to be node F. Okay. So if you look at in, uh, look at the adjacent node of the F, they are D and E. Okay. So, but before that, let's uh, add, uh, add the edge that uh, one side is F, and the other side is the adjacent of F that is D. Okay. So I'm gonna add this edge to the tree that we have so far. So I'm adding this D and F edge. Okay, to our spanning tree so far and also I am removing F from our set of vertices that we haven't checked yet so S will be V minus C uh, D and F so let's go and see that if we can update the cost of uh, like D and E okay the cost of D was equal to zero so there's no update for that also the cost of uh, E 
was here as you see was 4 okay so the cost of uh, e was 4 and the cost between e and f is equal to 5 so there is no update on the cost and also the adjacent uh, node of e okay so that's gonna be for f uh, now we are gonna see that which node uh, has the minimum cost okay we checked uh, uh, one okay so one is uh, the C is gone because as the minimum cost F is also gone also D is gone so between A uh, B uh, and E so far A gonna have uh, has the minimum cost so next time we're gonna choose A now we're gonna add uh, the edge that connects A to its adjacent uh, node. And if you look at here, we see that the agent of A is equal to C. So that's why here you're adding the edge A and C to this spanning tree, okay? Now the next uh, step is uh, like removing A from the S, so we already did that, okay? So S is uh, now doesn't contain A anymore. Okay, we updated U. And the next step is uh, updating the, adja like the adjacent uh, uh, like nodes cost for B uh, that are B and C. So we are updating the adjacent uh, uh, like the, of the C and B if the condition holds also the cost of them. So as you see, the cost of B so far is equal to five, okay? The cost of the, uh, B is equal to five and also it adjacent of B is equal to D, okay? Because so far, it had the minimum cost but now if you look at the co uh, the cost of a to b uh, cost of a to b is equal to three okay so now we are updating the cost of uh, b so i'm gonna like use another color let's say here so i'm updating five and now the new cost of b is gonna be three okay and here also i'm gonna uh, update the adjacent of b and adjacent of B also gonna be A. Okay, so it means that B uh, has the minimum cost when we go from A, okay, the cost for, uh, for B. Uh, for C, the minimum cost is uh, one. Also, we are not going to C because uh, we already uh, had C before, but in case, as you see, the, the adjacent of C was D and also the minimum cost was one. Now the cost the distance between A and C is two, so there is no change at all in this one so we also uh so we check we are checking a so a f b and c all of them are checked and the next one that we are gonna like do is the uh, the one that has the minimum cost so between b and e those two uh, nodes that are remain b has the less cost because it's now it has the updated cost of b so next step will be choosing b this time B is selected, so U is gonna be, and now we are gonna uh, uh, like uh, uh, remove B from S. So here we have B that's removed from S. Uh, now we are gonna add the edge uh, that uh, B is one side, and the other side is adjacent of B that is A. So here we are gonna add the edge A and B. Okay, so you're adding A and B. And the reason is that why we are choosing A because in the adjacent uh, adjacent uh, like nodes of node we are updating updated the D and it became became A. Okay, so that's why we are adding the edge A B. Next step is updating the cost and also the adjacent node of the neighbors of B. So B is uh, connected to A. Uh, e and D, so uh, A and D, we already uh, did, uh, we are done with them, and we're now we have E. So the cost of E is 4, but the cost of B to E is 2, so we need to update that one. So if we go here, so I am, okay, so getting rid of this 4, and now I'm adding number 2, so the cost of E becomes 2, now also I need to update adjacent of E. Before it was C because C has the minimum cost, so between E and F was five, between C and E was four. Now between E and B is two, so I am updating the adjacent of E to B. That's the thing that I'm gonna do. 
Now the only node that is remained is node E uh, and the adjacent of node uh, E is B. So I'm adding uh, here to the tree, the minus one tree, I'm adding the edge B and E to my tree set. Okay, so uh, finally my uh, like minimum spanning tree will be uh, the edges C, D, D, F, A, C, A, B, and B, e. and I will uh, on the next slide I want to show you uh, what's going to be the spanning tree of this graph G. So here is the minimum spanning tree. I draw like uh, just the graph or, or the minimum spanning tree. And as you see, there is no uh, cycle uh, uh, like in this graph, this, this minimum spanning tree. And all nodes also are connected to each other. So that's the end of the Prim's uh, algorithm discussion. Uh, next topic will be the core algorithm for also finding the minimum spanning tree of a graph.